Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I love e-bikes and this is no exception. This is a fat tire foldable e-bike, but this one is different than any I've reviewed on my channel. So this is gonna be exciting. I'm excited to share this with you. Let's get right into it right now. All right, what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm just gonna take this out on the road and show you this bike here. There's so many cool features about this, the way it looks, is fantastic and there's so many options for this bike as well you can really customize it the way to the way you want it and really quickly before i get on the road i just want to share with you now this particular model is the raton 750 lm pro now it's a pro because it does have the full back seat when i say full back seat not only does it have the padded back seat but it has a back rest that you can attach right to the back just like that. Looks really cool, it's nice to have that second seater on your bike. If you wanna haul around the kids or whatnot, it's kind of a cool feature. Now, I did the optional baskets. Now, you could do a basket right here on the front, or what you could do is replace this back seat with the basket that comes. So it's actually a two-pack on the baskets, and these are really heavy-duty baskets. Really, really nice, and it's very affordable to do that. Now, this bike is extremely inexpensive, and I will talk about that in today's video. At the end of the video, I'm gonna go through all the specs of this bike, so you're gonna know everything about this when you make your purchasing decision. But in the meantime, let's get on the road, let's have some fun. That's what this bike is all about. Let's go. So you may have noticed the first thing for me is that I chose to just do a single basket up front. I think it looks really cool. And like I mentioned before, I mean, that is a heavy duty basket right there. I know it's hard to tell on the camera, but it, they did a really, really good job on their baskets. Now you could put it on the front and the back, but I kind of like having the back seat. If I want to put the, the little one back there, I can do that. And it's a nice padded seat back there as well. Now, like I said, I do like to have the seat in the back. Now, um, I don't have the backrest on it right now. It's not something that I really like myself, but it is nice to have, especially if your little one is a little bit younger, you have something to lean back. It's a little more comfortable for them. But I wanted to have this angle because I wanted to share with you the motor. Now this is a 750 watt sustained motor. So it's going to have that torque that you want to get up those hills, which is great. Plus it can get a pretty good top speed. And we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Also has a 48 volt uh, battery here, which would get you about 45 miles uh, with pedal assist or if you're going up hills and you're just using the throttle you could get about 30 miles still on a battery like this which is fantastic um, it does have the buttons on top so you can check out your battery life while it's not even in the unit itself of course the dash you'll be able to do that as well and i'll show that to you as well now one of the cool features about this particular bike is it not only is a folding bike and i'm going to show you the folding mechanism it also has four inch wide fat tires now this is great if you're going to be going on those off-road trails if the weather might not be as good as you'd like, whether it's raining, snowing, or you're on sand, dirt trails, anything like that, these can handle. It's 20 inches by four inches, so 20 by four wheels, which is great on a folding e-bike. Now I've done other folding e-bike videos where they were regular street tires. It's just not as comfortable. In addition to that, it does have full suspension, which is great, and a headlight. So I just wanted to show you this part of the bike, which is great. Now let's get up on the handlebars. Now I know you saw a lot of this while I was riding, but you can see a little bit closer inside the garage here. As, you're just, as you can see, the display is very well lit. So even if it's a sunny day, you're going to be able to see the screen really good. Now at the top, you're gonna have the power indicator right here. You've got your speed, and then you're gonna have your odometer. As you can see, I've ridden this six miles and love this bike. I'm definitely keeping this one for the long haul. Now, if you want to change your pedal assist, it's right located right there, and you would just, right here on the controller, tap it up, and it has five different settings. So you go to five, you're gonna be able to get some good speed. Now, this thing is regulated to get, I think it's about 25 miles 
uh, per hour, anywhere from 20 to 25 miles, depending on if you're flatland or if you're going downhill. But there is a way to override that, and I've gotten this thing up to 40 miles per hour. If you want to know how to do that, reach out to our channel. If you get this bike, I'll share with you how to do that. It does have a bell right underneath here. Not the best sounding bell, but it is a bell. You do have your gear shifters right here. So as you change the shift, shift the gears, you would do it right there. Obviously, I'm not going to do that while I'm not riding. And then you've got your half throttle right here. So I have it on five. If I were to hit that, I'd probably take off. So let's just do one and I'll go off a little bit. As you can see, it goes without pedal. So it's not just pedal assist. It also has full throttle capability but what i like about this is how big the screen is and i know it's hard to tell in the video you could tell a little bit better when i was riding the bike but it is a large screen i'd say probably two to three times larger than any other e-bike that i have seen and that includes folding bikes and full-size bikes now really, if you're looking for a bike like this, it's because it's foldable and you wanna be able to fit it into a regular SUV, van, truck, whatever, without having to have a bike mounted rack. So that's the cool thing about these is they fold up really, really short. And to be able to fold this up, it's really simple. All you need to do is there is a, a release latch on the handlebars and then this one right here on the frame, which folds. So let me show you really quick. You just have to rotate that lift this one right off and it lifts really easy and then you just slide it right down that's step one step two is the latch right here you just release it just like that you open it right up and then once you do that you'll be able to fold it just like that so that's how you do it and you can completely fold it if you want to and i just like it and the only thing about these bikes right here is the weight so this isn't going to be like really light if you want a light bike that is a folding bike you're not going to get a fat tire one you're probably going to get something like a fido bike that i have shared on previous videos or one of those very very light thin bikes but this is heavy duty guy this is aluminum alloy right here this is made really really well it's made to last a long time and that's why you would get something like this but it is a little heavier so keep that in mind but when you do fold it there is one feature on this bike that sets it apart from any other and that's this handle right here because to lift any e-bike it can be very difficult to do but guys look at this just like that because it has a handle and i've honestly never seen this on a folding e-bike and i think it's great now once you do fold it up there is a kickstand right down below that is built into it so you don't have to worry about that it will stay upright um, in your vehicle uh, again i chose to only have one basket but you could have two because it comes in a two pack or you could have no basket if you don't want a basket that is an upgrade it's not a standard model only the back seat is standard with your purchase. I really hope you enjoyed this review on the Rattan 750LM Pro Model e-bike. Again, this is the folding e-bike with optional baskets. I love it, it has the built-in back seat. For the price, you just can't beat it. I'll put a link in the description section of this video where you can get one of these, because once you see the price, you won't believe it for what you can get in the quality of this. Hope you enjoyed the riding scenes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, or you can go to their website. And again, I'll put that in the description section of this video. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.